But if that's what Mr. Cruz has brought to this world, there still remains one more word on the man. Call it Tom Cruise on Tom Cruise Scientologist. I think it's a privilege to call yourself a Scientologist, and it's something that you have to earn. And because a Scientologist does, he or she has the ability to create new and better realities and improve conditions. Uh, being a Scientologist, you look at someone and you know absolutely that you can help them. So for me, it really is KSW, and it's just like, it's, it's something that uh, I don't mince words with that, you know, with, with anything that LRH does, but that policy to me has really gone, boy. And I, and I, I, there's a time I went through and I said, you know what? When I read it, I, you know, I just went, Phew. this is it. This is exactly it. Okay. Being a Scientologist, when you drive past an accident, it's not like anyone else. As you drive past, you know you have to do something about it because you know you're the only one that can really help. But that's, that's what drives me, is that I know that we have an opportunity and uh, to really help for the first time eff effectively change people's lives and uh, I am dedicated to that. I'm gonna, I'm absolutely uncompromisingly <laughs> dedicated to that. The orgs are there to help, okay, but we as, you know, as also the public, it's like, we have a responsibility. It's not just the orgs. It's not just Dave Miscavige. You know, it's not just not just me. It's you. It's everyone out there, kind of rereading KSW and looking at what needs to be done and saying, okay, am I gonna do it or am I not gonna do it? Period. And am I gonna look at that guy or am I too afraid because I have my own out ethics to put in someone else's ethics? And that's all it comes down to. Because I won't hesitate to put ethics in on someone else. You know, because I put it ruthlessly in on myself and I think that uh, I respect that in, in others and uh, you know I'm there to help and we're here to help and my opinion is is that look you're either on board or you're not on board okay but just if you're on board you're on board just like the rest of us period we are the authorities on getting people off drugs. We are the authorities on the mind. We are the authorities on improving conditions. Criminon, we can rehabilitate criminals. Way to happiness, we can bring peace uh, and unite cultures. Uh, that once you know these tools and you know that they work, it's, it's not good enough that, that I'm just doing okay traveling the world and meeting the people that, I, that I've met, you know, talking with these leaders in various fields. They want help and they are depending on people who know and who can be effective and do it. And that's us. That is our responsibility to do that. It is the time now. Now is the time, okay? It is being a Scientologist, people are turning to you, so you better know it. You better know it. And if you don't, you know, go and learn it, you know? <laughs> but don't pretend you know it and, and, or for, you know, whatever. It's like, we're here to help. I mean, if you're a Scientologist, you see life, you see things the way they are in all its glory. You know, all of its complexity. Uh, and the more you know as a Scientologist, you don't become overwhelmed by it. <laughs> and, uh, I went, you know, she, they said, so, like, have you met an SP? <laughs> <laughs> and I looked at them, <laughs> you know, and I thought, oh, what a beautiful thing, because maybe one day, It'll be like that. You know what I'm saying? Maybe one day it will be that. Wow, SPs, like, they'll just read about those in the history books, you know? <laughs> the thing is, I just go through that tech, and it's it literally, it's, it's not how to run from an SP. 
It's PTSSP had a shatter suppression, confront shatter suppression. You apply it, it's like, boom. Because they don't come up to me and do that. Uh, they won't do it to me. Not to my face, you know, or anywhere in my vicinity where they feel they can be confronted, you know. It's not doing it. Look, I wish the world was a different place. I'd like to go on vacation and go and romp and play and just do that. You know what I mean? I mean, that's what I want it to be, okay? That's how I would, you know, there's times I'd like to do that, but... But I can't, because I know. You know, you can sit here and wish it was different, and then you look at it and you go, okay, this is it, all right, okay, and there's that moment where you go, <laughs> you know, I have to do something, don't I? Yeah, I really have to do it because I can't live with myself if I don't, and it's, and that really is it. I don't care if someone thinks it's hard or easy, it's either, either helping and contributing everything you can, or you're not. Uh, because I'm carrying my load, all right? And only that, as much as I'm carrying, I still feel like I gotta do more, all right? There's still a thing of, let's go. You can just see the look in their eyes. You know the ones that are doing, you know? And you know the spectators, who are the ones that are going, well, it's easy for you, or what am I doing? And it's just, that thing is, uh, I've canceled that in my area. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, man, you're either in or you're out. That's spectatorism, and it's something that, that is, we have no time for it now. So it's our responsibility to educate, create the new reality. You know, we have that responsibility to say, hey, this is the way it should be done. Because we do it this way, and people are actually getting better. And let's get it done. You know, let's really get it done and have enough love, compassion, and toughness. That, that you're gonna do it uh, and uh, do it right. And I have to tell you something. I really, it, it is, you know, it's rough and tumble. Man, it's wild and wooly, and it's a blast. It's a blast. It really is fun because, damn it, there is nothing better to going out there and fighting a fight and suddenly you see things are better. I want to know that I've done everything I could uh, every day. And I think about those people out there who are depending on us. And uh, I think about that. And it does make me feel uh, like, man, I got, I got this. You know, we got more work. I need more help. You know, get those spectators either in the playing field or out of the arena, you know. <laughs> that's how I, really, that's how I feel about it. I do what I can, and I do it the way I do everything. <laughs> There's nothing part of the way for me. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> A Scientologist can be defined by a single question. Would you want others to achieve the knowledge you now have? In answering that question, Tom Cruise has introduced LOH technology to over one billion people of Earth. And that's only the first wave he's unleashed, which is why the story of Tom Cruise, Scientologist, has only just begun.